All right. I wanted to give a little demonstration on WSJT-Z. Although this says X, it does use the WSJTX version 2.5.4 right now is what I'm running. But this is a WSJT-Z mod version 1.22 uh, by this ham right here. Um, I wanted to give you a little information. Um, a little bit of the stuff, um, like down here, I can choose to only see CQ only. And it's also, it's giving you the state, um, if they have their information in there correctly, it tells you how many miles away it is. Um, if we only want to see who's calling CQ, um, it will do that. Um, this app up here is JT Alert, and uh, it is telling you the stations that I've worked before, and it's showing you where they're at and their call sign, and this gentleman here is calling CQ. Now, with this app, it has an auto CQ feature, which I'll press the button, and when the um, time down here goes back over, it'll transmit every even, uh, even number. So that's what it's supposed to do. And right there it goes. So now we're transmitting, calling CQ. Now what this will do is this will call CQ until somebody answers. Somebody will answer. It'll go through all the steps. Um, whoever it is that is answering, it'll give their information here as to uh, their call sign, their name, their email address, their CQ zone, their distance away, their bearing, uh, ITU zone, your grid square, etc., etc. This gentleman was in England, and it gives his address um, that I got him earlier on, uh, on uh, what are we on, 17 meters right now. But um, it's a very interesting um, program. Um, as opposed to just WSJTX software, the fact that it'll continue to call CQ, it will not stop. Um, if I get called away from the desk uh, for one of the dogs needs to go out or one of my kids running around here needs something, um, I can walk away from the desk and I can come back and it'll continue to call CQ until it finds somebody. Um, the auto call function, and when you go to this, it will actually pick one of the call signs up here. So this gentleman here is calling CQ. So it went ahead and it, it picked his call sign. And now we're responding to his CQ. And this gives you, he's in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, North America. Gives his name, his email address, how many miles away. Very handy. Um, and if you don't know where that is, that's under view and call info um, you click the call info and it turns that on it also has dark mode which i haven't clicked that in a while and it might have locked it up <laughs> see what it does here so that gives you dark mode um i'm not very fond of the of the dark mode so we'll turn that back off but uh that's just a couple of the extra features that it gives, um, uh, as opposed to W just WSJTX software. The 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 Z mod, um, I highly recommend it. Um, even if you're not one for the automatic stuff, um, just the extra information that it's giving you, uh, where they're located, how many miles away, um, it's giving you this call info. Um, as to where they're at, uh, etc. Um, I do think it's, uh, it's, it's very handy. And, uh, so we finished with K4NM. Uh, we finished calling him, so now it went on to the next gentleman that's calling CQ. Which he's over in Ireland. So it's, uh. It's automatically, and it, it'll sit here and do this all day. Um, I got 130-some contacts um, in about uh, three, four hours today. Um, so, But I'm also running um, 
what did I have? One, two, three, four, five different bands uh, running this morning. Uh, one of which was two meter, and there were actually nobody calling CQ on there t- today. Um, so actually, only four bands. But um, just wanted to give you everybody a little bit of a heads up on uh, what this is, and um, and uh, if you do a nice Google search of WSJTZ as opposed to WSJTX, uh, this model come up, and uh, you can download that and uh, try it out. And see what you think yourself. But uh, I've been very impressed with it. I've been using it for a few months now and uh, very happy with it. With that, we'll say 73s. This has been KC9TWX. Thank you for tuning in.